Vine, he tried to wait off his old mate Ollie Wines. And Porter, oh, ever well done by Gorn. How inspirational is that when your big ruckman gets down and dirty? Jack Watts is getting a lot of space at the moment. He's getting free on Jonas. Needs to tighten up a fraction. High ball, McDonald and Hogan both lead. Here's Neil Bullen from the pocket. Time to really size it up and decides that Petrarca is the best way home. Dixon and Trengrover right up around this stoppage. So any quick kick out is going to be a disaster for him. Gorn. Tough one for Hogan. Oh, well done. Follow it all the way back, but it's all there for Jesse Hogan in the end. A little bit of fortune goes a long, long way. Oscar McDonald goes to Gorn. Oh, fist was clean from Trengo, but what about the handling from Oliver? And then Watts, Kennedy Harris, fantastic build-up. And then Garlic just says, catch me if you can. And they oh. couldn't, but he hit the post. <laughs> fantastic. Frost got it from Neil Bullen. Down to Watts again. Got him where he wanted to. Nuts him out of the way. Flicks the handball Gallic away. Again. He's Garland again. This time it won't hit the, oh, it won't hit the post. Oh! It did hit the post. <laughs> He's hit both posts. <laughs>
Comes out with a footy. Frost tries to get the spoil on Impey. Now, open country ahead. He's had one. He's had two. He might need to have three or four. He takes them on and then just buys a bit of time. Dixon, what was that? Didn't match the great effort from Impey. Well, he tried going to ground and killing it. And unfortunately, oh. Impey didn't go with him. Cannon, what a mark. Higher, I think. It's all part of, yeah, all part of that uh, swap of picks with Kelly. GWS. Lewis over runs it. Hibbert thumps it for the 33rd time. He has a possession and Melkson marks it. Come on, hands out. Oh, he's gone for it. He's gone for it. He's got it. Jake Melkson might just have sealed the deal for the D's. Over the weeks, he's going to be able to get back to full training. He would still have some limitations. Well, what a sound for Melbourne fans as the siren rings out around the end.